I've never seen a kid so fierce. He drank a bottle of laxative, and he was as fierce as a tiger on the soccer field. He drank another bottle and the soccer players gave way to him. He thought he was going to make it all the way, but then he suddenly wanted to go to the bathroom. The soccer kid makes a mad dash to the bathroom. The game has to be suspended, but Jack smiles mysteriously because he did it all on purpose. This fake coach Jack wants to lose so badly because his bride is waiting for him at the wedding. Not long ago Jack was a teacher, and because of bad luck he was run over by Alice, a novice, and they fell in love and got married in a week. Jack went to the principal to ask for a wedding leave, but the principal even secretly love him refused to approve. Jack directly resigned to rush to the station, but unlucky Jack bumped into the mayor in the train station for the opening ceremony of the youth soccer tournament. Jack wanted to sneak away but became a soccer coach by mistake. Now his ticket is torn, his passport is taken away, and the wedding is one day away. So Jack is devastated. It just so happens that David, the coach of the team next door, has the idea that he can make it to the wedding in time if he loses the game. Jack thinks it makes sense. He is an amateur anyway. He doesn't even have a player. It's easy to lose. Jack called Alice and told her that he had caught a virus on the train and he was the only one on the train who was okay. But the wedding had to be postponed for a day. He thought that if he lost the game, he could get his passport back and go to the wedding. But he couldn't lose. Jack found 12 homeless children as players, without training so directly on the game. And indeed the opening game directly 0-2. Rangers do not even know the rules of the game. Jack was full of excitement as if to see the results of the dream wedding. But the little guy suddenly like a tiger possessed and began to beat the opponent. The little guy's skills were so smooth that not only Jack was shocked, the audience also watched with eyes wide open. There are actually such experts in the Rangers? Just then a little guy with glasses seemed to have a magnet on his head passing four people in a row with the ball on top, and then a great match at the end. They won. Hearing the mayor's blessing and the announcement of the next game tomorrow, Jack was furious. The bride was already singing three songs at the wedding, and before she could see the groom, she got a phone call. Jack tells Alice that the train he was on has had another accident and fallen into a deep ditch and he is the only survivor. But the wedding still has to be postponed for another day. Jack racked his brains to make his team lose. Rival David once again gave him the idea to put laxatives in the water. As long as the best goal scorer is sick, they will lose. Jack immediately runs to buy laxatives. But the boy drank three bottles. But still nothing happened. But more and more powerful. At the right moment, the pills kicked in and he ran to the bathroom without thinking about the game. Jack was so happy that he thought he was going to lose immediately. But the player was so brave. In order to lose the game quickly, Jack replaced the boy with a boy who had never played soccer before. The boy was shy, and because of his fearful gaze, he easily let his opponent score a goal. And because he didn't know the rules, he let his opponent score an extra point. This can make Jack happy. But unfortunately the next second he could no longer laugh. This is definitely the most heroic goalkeeper I've ever seen. No matter how the opponent can shoot the goal cannot break through his defense. Before getting desperate, Jack made one last move. On the last set piece, he switched his position and let Gump shoot. Gump is a real cockeyed man who was abandoned by his parents because of his handicapped eye and became a vagrant. If he aims at the net, the ball will definitely fly to the toilet door. This scared the unlucky guy squatting in the toilet. He lifted his pants and ran so that it could have the opposite effect. Sure enough, 3 colon 2 they won again. Jack completely desperate. At this point in the wedding scene, the bride to stall for time has begun to do games. Jack in order to go back to the wedding is ready to take the boat stowaway, but ran into rival David. David can only use the last resort. He asked Jack to take the children to move the goods saying that in order to exercise physical strength. But the game is coming up. Moving goods overnight will only drain the physical strength. As it turned out, 
The next day, the kids were all out of breath on the field. After halftime, the kids' 0-3 record had them crying in the corner. Now that the game was about to be lost, he should have been overjoyed but couldn't be happy. Jack talked to the kids and found out that these homeless kids were playing soccer because the championship would be broadcast on TV. They want to go home. They want their lost parents to find them. Now, because of Jack's selfishness, they lose their chance to win. Jack was ashamed to tell the crowd the truth about everything, so Jack was beaten by the children very badly. However, Jack and the kids opened up and rekindled their fighting spirit. After the normal rest period, the boys regained some strength. This time they were sure to win. One colon three. The kids recovered one point. The crowd is cheering for them. Another point. The kids worked well together at the last minute. The kids won and they made it to the finals. On the other hand, the bride waited for three days for the groom at the wedding site, but she didn't get him. She was so angry that she smashed the wedding and Jack returned to his single status. With his love gone, Jack started to focus on the competition. This time he learns how to train and the kids are getting better and better. On the eve of the competition, his rival David starts to play pranks again. He takes out a video of the kids unloading and threatens Jack to lose the competition or he will go to the police and charge them with theft. At the end of the day, Jack can't bear to let the kids' hopes be dashed. So he and the kids plan to pretend to show weakness in the first half of the game to paralyze David's mind. And then take advantage of his relaxation when Jack sneakily took the key to steal the videotape. Everything went well on the day of the game. And the kids started to play their true strength when they saw Jack get the tape. Gump aims at his teammate and kicks the ball into the net, bringing the game back to a point. Glass's boy was on top of his game and turned into a trapeze artist. Three colon three. Just one more goal and the game is won. But the opponent also started to play too much. The little guys fell to the ground one by one. The opponent raised his foot to shoot the ball. And the goalkeeper, who carried the ball across the half with his own feet. And then he was a trapeze artist. The game is over. The fake coach, who had only been a coach for a few days, with the temporary stray children, beat the professional players and became the champion of the Russian youth soccer tournament. A temporary team, an unpromising ending, became the most colorful part of their lives. Jack is reunited with his fiance at the end. And the children's future has unlimited hopes and possibilities. Even if life doesn't go well, even if there are many obstacles, as long as your heart is still there, as long as you are determined to set out towards your goal, victory will be there waiting for you.